putting the fun in index funds. Well, I'm going to try at least. Just like the name says, an index fund is a type of mutual fund or exchange traded fund that replicates an index. You may ask, what is an index? Well, an index is a list of stocks or bonds or both that are grouped together because of particular characteristics, such as the 30 stocks in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Although there are no specific requirements to be included in the Dow, they are typically well-known large cap companies whose goal is to give an overview for how the American markets are doing. You can't invest directly in the Dow or any other index, therefore we have index funds. Index funds are a popular choice among investors for a multitude of reasons, so let's delve into them. There are hundreds of indices and therefore thousands of index funds. Some funds track company size and are grouped by market cap, for example, the Russell 2000, which is made up of 2,000 small cap companies. Others track a sector like industrials or a specific industry within a sector like airlines. Additional index funds track foreign and international exchanges, emerging markets, and specific asset types, bonds, commodities, currency. A unique aspect of index funds is that they are a form of passive investing. Other types of mutual funds are run by active managers who choose the fund's assets in an attempt to outperform the market. Index funds typically have lower fees since you're not paying a manager for these services. In active investment funds, managers strategically pick assets they believe will have higher returns and better performance than just following an index. Whereas an index fund is meant to match the risk and return of the market, whether it goes up or down. However, there is the belief that the market will outperform any one investment in the long run. Although they are a passive investment, it's still important to look at an index fund's performance compared to the index it follows. This allows you to make sure the fund is being managed correctly. If there are large variations in performance, then the manager is clearly not doing their job. One of the great features of owning an index fund is the access to broad market exposure. For example, an S&P 500 index fund has 500 of the largest publicly traded companies. From Adobe to Coca-Cola, MasterCard to O'Reilly Auto, Ralph Lauren to United Airlines. You get the picture. Rather than buying 500 stocks individually, which would be expensive and difficult to manage, an index fund can give you exposure to all the companies in the index. In addition, an S&P 500 index fund covers all 11 market sectors, which helps keep your portfolio diversified too. Whether you want to get specific and track a certain industry or have broad market exposure to a plethora of different stocks, index funds offer a variety of options. So, are index funds the right investment choice for you?